For nearly two decades, Seneca Falls artist Roberta Estes kept a secret from the world. She had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Her diagnosis was hidden from nearly everyone around her, and art was her only escape. Unfortunately, there is a sense of shame attached to having a mental illness, and the stigma of this invisible illness was too much for Roberta to confront until now. Through her art, Roberta has finally come forward to say to the world, mental illness does not define her. Being an artist does. My name is Roberta Estes, and I am an artist who is currently living and working in Seneca Falls, New York. This exhibit is called Distraction Abstraction, a Bipolar Odyssey, and it really speaks to the fact that I am coming forward about being bipolar and having bipolar disorder. I was diagnosed about 20 years ago. Being bipolar does not hinder me or limit me but not knowing that I was bipolar and then finding out and keeping it a secret has been incredibly constricting. I think a lot of it has to do with our perception as a society when it comes to mental illness. No one would say anything about a cast on a leg, but yet we look at mental illness and we think, well, is it something I should be afraid of? Is it something that doesn't even exist? It doesn't show on the outside. So for me, it was just reaching a tipping point in my life where I said, I'm tired of the secrecy, I'm tired of being ashamed of who I am, and more importantly, I'm tired of being defined for something that really is just one component that makes up who I am. And this exhibit really helped me to express uh, the feelings that I have about secrecy and why it shouldn't be that way with any mental illness. When I step into this room, this is where I'm present. I'm living in the moment, and I don't really think that happens for me to many other places in my life. In the process, I'm the one who's really just having fun and releasing energy. All of this is about just experiencing paint. And I like to just play with paint. I've absolutely used art in a therapeutic sense. It's been very helpful for me and it has been a journey. And I am at the point now where I can look at my art and see not, oh, maybe I was in a certain mood or was I up or was I down, but rather just did I let the colors talk? Did I let everything flow through? Am I happy with the product? Does it speak to me in the end? I love abstract art. Um, I really am drawn to it, mostly because I don't feel that I am telling someone what to see, what to view, what to feel, what emotions are behind it. When someone stands in front of an, a work of abstract art, they are bringing their experience to it. They're reading into it along very personal lines and really I appreciate that more than anything. I'm not doing something literal. I'm doing something that allows you to either get drawn in or react to it emotionally, but really from your own perspective. I may be the artist. I'm kind of a conduit in that respect. As I was putting together this exhibit, I started looking at all of the different quotes from artists, actors, actresses, philosophers, and the things that they say about accepting who you are. When people start reading the quotes, they start nodding their head. They start really thinking about what I'm trying to convey, which has a lot to do with acceptance of who you are, growth, and not being judgmental. What's been really nice about this exhibit is people who look and come in and talk to me and say, yes, my sister, my cousin, my father-in-law. And it's become an open conversation about something that many, many people are dealing with. And yet, somehow, we're slightly embarrassed, maybe. We're, well, it's mental illness. And what I'm here to say is, I consider my mental illness to be as relevant as any other illness out there. 
and I deal with it sometimes, um, better at some times than other times, but you ride with it. It's life. There are ups and downs in life, and dealing with a mental illness just means understanding your triggers and paying attention to them. Being an artist is my core existence. Being bipolar is just something I deal with. I don't let it control me. It's just something to be aware of, and I've been so appreciative of the people who have sent me emails saying that they're just glad that the conversation has been started. You can find out more about Roberta and her artwork by visiting robertaestes.com. This segment was produced as part of the Move to Include initiative with funding provided by the Golisano Foundation.